Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Conan Exiles with Gasbeard at our central desert base. And you can see the wife looking lovingly at me because we're in our matching his and hers cold weather outfits. We're off for a wander up north. Got kind of tired of the building and I'll show you why in a moment. Um, however, there is a slight problem in that I am baking and overheating and cooking and dying. She's not bothered by the, the temperature. So I need to get back into my light uh, gear. You can see my health is dropping. Um, let me just very quickly swap this over until we get up into some colder areas and that way I'm not going to kill myself with the temperature. Right, that's a bit better. Not a lot, but a bit. Let's just have a munch to recover some of that lost health. Quick drink of water. Right, come on then, missus. Let's get our way up north. And what we're after... Well, come on, then. Oi. Oh. Come on. She's in the huff. She's now following me. Right, come on. Yeah, you can see I've been kind of busy. I've uh, finished off the, the workshops building. Not in the exact style that I wanted. But it will do. And um, I've also got the um, the furnaces in. Put a roof over them. And where is she? Oh, there she is. Come on then. Come on then, missus. While it's dark, let's uh, take advantage of the, the cooler temperatures. Come on. And let's... Uh, Let's get up north. Now, we're going to have to be very careful of lions and tigers. We don't want to repeat exercise of what we had a few weeks ago. Where every time I moved through here, we got jumped. And we're, uh, we're actually heading up that way and then left a bit. But I'm taking the route that I know because... That will let let us get up there fairly quickly and safely. We're going to cut across the, the savannah here and then head up through the um, the spillway. Oh, and there's giant rhinos over there. This might not have been the most clever of routes. Um, crap. A bit too late to change direction. Now we'll just have to see if we can sneak past them. No shooting at them, right? Okay, I think we've managed to dodge the worst, worst of the tigers. Down here, anyway. We've still got to worry about the ones that are up along the spillway. And as long as I can stop her from trying to tickle the elephant. Oh, there's a tiger there. There's tiger cubs over there. Okay. Um, another tiger up there on that rock. Let's get across to the sand. Might have more chance of dodging them if we go around the sand. I'm not too worried about the elephants. They're a little bit slow. We can easily dodge them. And they tend not to bother you unless you bother them anyway. So... There we are. Right, now... Right. After a lot of running, you catch up with us again on Skyfall Ridge. 
where we are hunting black ice. And uh, this is new territory for both of us. But I've been told this is the area that we have to look for it. So that's what we're doing. And is that some down there? Let's go have a look. Now, you'll notice I've got a stone and a steel pick on the um, on the ready bar. Um, that's because steel is the hardest pick that I can make and repair at the moment. And that is black ice, so we'll switch to the, the steel pick. Get the maximum harvest from the black ice. Why do we need black ice? It's because we want to start making hardened steel. Going to be needing hardened steel soon. For um, tools and weapons. And you'll have to bear with me if I play through this bit a bit like an old fart. Because, as I said, this is all brand new territory to me. I've never been here before. I don't know what to expect. Um, have a quick look up here. I'll try not to let the video run too long. Um, I'd like us to get home. Whoa, now which way does it go? Right, so if I'm facing that way, and I look at the map, yeah, that is the direction we want to go. And it's getting to night time. Ooh, scary. Scary territory. Never been here before. But apparently there is a ton of black ice along here. So that's what we... It's where we've got to go. It's what we've got to do. And if we're really lucky, we might find some meteorites as well. Um... I don't think that's black ice. I think that's just regular ice. Same with that. I'm using the... Yeah. Using the stone pickaxe to test what type of ice it is before I wear down the steel one. Because I forgot to bring any steel to repair it. Ooh, what's that bright light down there? What is that? Hmm. I'm not seeing very much in the way of black ice at all here. Oh, hang on. Here we go. This has the look of black ice. Yeah, that's what we're after. Dum ti dum tum, tum ti dum tum, dum dum tum ti dum dum dum, dum ti dum dum, dum 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 dum. Ah, there's more there. We'll come back in a second. Dum dum to dum dum. Dum dum to dum 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 dum. Come on, keep getting it, keep getting it. Yeah, that's it. Right now, if I give you the regular ice. Wow, you had 30 steaks on you. Have you eaten them all already? Good grief, woman. Um, now, viewers, you're going to have to forgive me. I have got a stinker of a cold coming on, so I am not at my best. And I have to keep pausing to... Whoa. To rub my nose. 
and snuffle and sniff and all the rest of it without without it showing up on the video um, I do hope you'll forgive me for that so there might be the odd pause I'm not feeling at my best um, right looks like the ridge goes away along up there towards the volcano I guess we could continue on As long as we've got a route, we'll keep doing it. Uh, how are we doing? We're cold. We're not. Uh, we're not too bad, and I have got some spicy food with me. Don't want to run out of stamina up here. This is unknown territory for me. I've got no idea what to expect. never been to the volcano before not that we're going into the volcano this time we're, uh, we're only here to get the black ice and looks like we're running out of places to look coming to the end of the ridge what does the map say yeah pretty much at the end there's a little bit further that we can go and then we need to think about heading back um, dum -dum -dum -dum. Ooh, hot stuff. Ooh. I'm not sure we want to be running across that. Okay, come on then, woman. Head back. We'll save exploring that for another day. Let's, uh... Let's get back and profit from what we've got now one of the other things that we've got to do is I unlocked the ability to make ice boxes so we'll make an ice box to keep all of this ice and black ice in or using with the forges when we want to convert it to, oh and we've got a blizzard coming in have we uh, making use of it um, to preserve food to make the hardened steel etc etc I'm not sure exactly how many uses there are for it um, although I think I think there is a recipe where you can use ordinary ice to make black ice um, I'm not sure if we can't see any more black ice on the route then getting more regular ice might be the way to go um, not sure if that's black ice or not across there more like grey ice <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing that's regular ice is it yeah. Hmm. Oh well, I'll harvest all of this and I'll give it to the missus to carry. It's good for ice boxes. Might be other recipes that we need it for as well. ice up here as well I'll keep going until I'm getting well I'm almost encumbered now so we'll get this I'm not getting any rocks from up here I need to think about picking up a, a few small rocks for repairing the stone pick there he is Right, um, 
Yeah, I'll give you this lot. You look after this lot for me. Right. I'll just get this as well. Hmm. Okay. Now we've lost lost the route of where we're supposed to be. Is that black ice? That might be black ice. It is. Which way are we supposed to be going? Um, that way. If I go high up here, is it? And over the top? And that, does that take us down the ridge? It does. And the snowstorm's moving in. Um, I'm going to need a drink soon and something to eat. So let's just do that first. Get something to eat. That should warm us up a little bit and get a drink. I'm carrying three water skins as normal. Um, I wasn't sure what we could expect up here. So I just brought my regular three water skins with me. And we're getting a warm up off that spiced f uh, meat. So that's good. some black ice in that one that's good and I've no idea if we're doing good or bad or if we're missing something or whatever because I've never been on a black ice harvest before um, usually I've been playing in co-op play and somebody else who knew what they were doing it is who's gone and done it um, and I've generally been stuck back at base doing the building. Um, so I never got to come up here and explore all of this and do all of this side of it. So if you guys have got any hints or tips, please do leave them in the comments. Um, be very gratefully received. Oh, and there we go. Okay, let's just repair the pick. Oh. Yeah, this is all just regular ice. I'm not getting any black ice at all now. Uh. Right, come here, missus. I'll give you this... Uh, this regular ice. Kitchens will be quite happy to receive it. Ooh, a lot of ice over there, look. Excellent. Dum 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 this all looks just like regular ice. Yeah. Well, if we can find the recipe to convert this to black ice, I think it involves the uh, altar of Amir. Or one of the altars of Amir. We. Um. 
Oh, there's the goats. Hello, goats. Alright, where are we at? Um, almost at the end of the ridge. Alright. So. Not too exciting this episode, I'm afraid. Sorry about that. Combination of me f not feeling very well and also not having a clue what I'm doing. Wow, is that a lot of black ice across there? Let's hope it is. Hello, little goat. Uh, that's regular, is it? Yeah. What's that? So is that. Yeah. We're not getting very much out of this lot at all. Is that coal? It's not what we're after. I don't want to uh, weigh us down with it, so... I'm not going to go for it. Black ice. Yes. Right, now I'm over encumbered. Okay, come here, missus. Take some of this ice off me. Get as much of the black ice as we can before think about continuing on with the, the normal ice. And there's the pig broken again. That's okay. Uses up some of the stone that we're carrying when we repair it. over or just under 560 black ice so far so we're still getting a reasonable rate of collection using the stone pick right I'll have to give you all of the regular ice that I'm carrying and I'm going to have to start giving you some of the black ice as well. I went 94%. Uh, wait a minute, how much of the regular ice are you carrying? 579. Um, so if we try and get another 21 and just bring us up to a round number. Oh, that's 26. That's almost a round number. Oh yeah, that gives us 600 of that. Drop those five. Um, I'm thinking actually I should give you the 500 black ice to carry so that I'm not encumbered in case we get in a fight. Um, nah, we'll just leave it like this. I'll, we'll head back. Right, time to head for home, Mrs. Okay. Um, I just want to have a, a quick reorganise of the tools. Repair that. Then I can, well, put them there for now. Put the steel pick back there. I got a hardened steel pick from one of the chests at Sebamaru. And I never used it. I kept it. 
and also the pickaxe came off um, one of the um, one of the relic hunters, I think, at Sapma Marrow. Again, I never used it. We'll get rid of that. Puts me down to ninety-three percent. That's good. Right. Um, quick munch of that. Get me a warm up. What are we doing? Warm up. Quick drink. Time to head on, and I think the way back is over here somewhere. Let's just check the map. Ooh, we've come way off course to what we were when we arrived. We want to go back that way. This looks like a load of iron up here. It is. Wow. Um, ooh. Getting down there could be a bit on the tricky side. That's not where we want to go down at all. We want to go down over here. Because we want to avoid the mounds of the dead. We want to go around here and cut back through here. And then along the edge here. Drop back down through at the, um, at the spillway. So I think we've got to go along that narrow path over there. Looks like it. That's okay. Let's give it a go. Right, well this episode's probably starting to get a bit long in the tooth here. So what I'll do, if I mean if we come again up against any black ice on the way back, I'll collect it, but um not gonna be picking up any more regular ice on the way back. And I'll see you back at the base. So thanks for watching. Like I said, any tips or tricks for this caper of collecting the black ice? Leave them down below, um, let me know about them, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one from me, the Gazbeard, with the wife up here in the snowy areas. It's thanks for watching, and it's not goodbye, it's bye for now. Right, so here we are, back at our base in our regular desert clothing, and none the worse for the, the trip. So, I did say at the start of the video that I'd show you something about what we'd been up to with the uh, the building and the workshops, and I gave you a quick view of the, the outside of it. You can see how at night the lanterns and the braziers and everything light it up. Or at least it, I thought it was night. It's not. It's just the sandstorm passing across. How's that uh, getting on there? Yeah, won't be too long. Let's start making the the hardened steel. Excellent. We have got some hardened steel across at Sapamaro, of course. I need to get that brought across here. In fact, we need to start migrating a lot of stuff across here. Okay, so the inside of the workshops. This is how you saw it uh, last time round, but what I've done is I could not get those arched ceilings to, to fit into here. So I've just simply used the um, the corner slopes from the Yamatai roofing set to put that roof in up there on all four corners. And upstairs in the top hall, I've done the same. I've used the Yamatai roofing again up here to get this um, effect. Now one of the things about the Yamatai roofing is that you do get those air gaps between the tiles which should in theory let the heat escape out of here. Certainly I'm not showing up as too hot. Uh, just a, a fraction above average at the moment which is good. It's a little bit warmer here on the middle floor, in fact. And that might be because we've got fewer um, of, of the blue torches. You can see I'm heating up. You look at my temperature gauge at the top left. I'm getting quite a bit hotter on the middle floor than I am on the top floor. You can see temperatures dropping when I come up here. Not sure why that would be. 
other than the fact that there are less windows up here. I wonder if these windows are letting the heat in. Certainly when I stand next to them, temperature is rising. And still rising down here on this floor. Might have to get more glowing gloop torches in to, to drop the temperature. But if I come down here, temperature is holding the same here as it is on the middle floor. Okay, that's interesting. I was not expecting that. So, in terms of the building structure, apart from adding more glowing gloop torches to bring the temperature down, um, the structure itself is built. I can start populating it, putting the benches in, moving the various artisans across, and so on. Uh, quick check of the Wheel of Pain. And... We've only got the two people on it. We've got another bearer, a level three bearer this time, and a named armorer, which was a good find. Um, we've got, let's have a look, what have we got across here? We've got one archer, we've got two relic hunter treasure seeker brawlers, two dancers, and another bearer, only a level one bearer though. Um, and in here we've got a Jebel Sag High Priest and a named Alchemist. The named Alchemist I brought across from the Wheel of Pain at the Sepamaro base. We had uh, two of those. So, need to start bringing across all of the um, unallocated uh, Tradesman Thralls. Uh, probably swap them around, use the level 1s and 2s at the Great River base. Uh, move the level 3s and duplicate level 2s from there across to Sepamaru. And then bring all of the named thralls for the tradesman thralls across here. Um, start moving the troops around in the same manner. Put the cannon fodder on the river base because those are quite weak low level purges. Um, use the mid level um, existing thralls, uh, the, the archers and the fighters at Sepamaru. Have a few of them across here as cannon fodder, but generally start moving all of the unplaced. Um, combat thralls across here keeping them in the chests ready for the um, December update after which uh, if we put them out they will get the benefits of the thrall skill system so did you enjoy your run up in the mountains yeah just the two of us nice romantic walk through the snow should have took the skis you know we forgot all about that Okay, ladies and gentlemen, from us here at the Desert Base, yeah, it's going to be it for this week. We'll see you at the weekend. We'll get up to something. Don't know what yet, but we'll, we'll get up to something. I might continue on with the building of the base um, off camera, and then you can just join us for our different adventures. Thanks for being here, and bye for now.